In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for February the 28, 2021, according to St. Luke. Then he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living. When he had spent all, there, was, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him to his fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pots that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. When, when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. When he, when, when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and a sandal, and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this, for this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost and is found and they began to, marry, to be merry. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. So he, ca he called one of the servants and asked what, what were these things. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the, fat the fattened calf. But he was angry and would go know him. Therefore his father came out and pleaded with him. So he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years I have been serving you. I never transgressed your commandment at any time. And yet you never gave me a young goat that I may have merry with my, make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son of yours came, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots, you killed the fatted cow for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad. For your brother was dead and is alive again, was lost and is found. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. Do you still like to be in the swine place? Do you still want to eat the swine food? Is that how you feel? As we are presented with this beautiful gospel today, I would like to call your attention to what usually was and um, ties us up, ties us down by the effort of the devils. Let us start by the praying. Oh, I can't wake up early in the morning because I'm too tired. Oh, when I start praying in the night, I, 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 fell, I fell asleep. Really? Is, it that, is that not some sort of sloth that we have? And then when we start praying a little bit, we will say, Oh, I pray. Do you pray? No, you don't pray. You're not, you're not doing good. We start judging. We love to judge. Oh, that's, that's something incredible to feel the power and the joy of being able to, joy another one, to judge another one. You should not do that. Take, for example, fasting. Now we are almost there starting to fast. And many of us do not like to fast. We love to eat meat. Yeah, meat, I love meat. My observe personally, I, I love meat. And I remember that it was so darn difficult for me to, to fast on meat on Fridays. But it is that gluttony that we need to fight off. And that is the swine's food. But let's get into something more difficult. Alcohol, drugs sex, pornography. We love to see pornography. We love to have sex. 
And even if you're married and your wife is not up to it, well, never mind, I'll get a friend. <laughs> really? Really? Hey, it's all legal. Yeah, right. Well, because she wants, because he wants. No. No. You're not allowed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. You are wanting to feed yourself with the swine feet. Is that what you want to do? Do you still want to be there? We can go through everything. And we will see how the food of the swine is still enticing to us. But we must stand up. If we were to just feel our own and see how we have hunger for God. In the house of my father, every hired hand has plenty. And then this is the passage that is so important. I will arise and go back to my, to my father and tell him, I have seen it before you. I am not worthy to be your son anymore. You just receive me as a hired man. That is the point. For that will be enough for our beautiful, merciful Father in heaven to turn around and kiss us. Let us think about that. I would like to thank everyone that so far has helped us and continues to help us, the very few. I, again, I thank you. I pray for you. We pray for you, all of us. And keep on asking. If there is anyone that would uh, be willing to help us with, their, with your prayers and with some financial support, there are different ways down below that you can help us with. Please do help us. God bless you. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.